Hello and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. Today I want to give an example of how you can save a lot of money using Asana. And as per the title of this video, I want to talk about how a client of mine actually was recently able to save $60,000 a year using Asana. And actually how they were able to do that was very simple. So to give you a little bit of background here, and I'm not going to name any names, but this client I worked with uh, about a year ago, and I spent a number of weeks working with them, setting up their account in the best way, just tidying up the team and project structure that they had in place, just helping them to get the work a lot more organized and clean and tidy. I then spent some time working with their team, making sure they knew how to use the tool, how not to use the tool, common mistakes to avoid, and that type of thing. Uh, I then, we went our separate ways, I caught up with this person recently uh, just to see, hey, how's it going, what do you think the, and I asked her, what do you think the impact of Asana has been over the last year, and she was blown away. She said, and I quote, that because her team were trained and knew how to use Asana more efficiently, she was actually able to avoid hiring additional staff this year, and that alone probably saved her in the region of about $60,000. And so I think that's just a brilliant example. Whether you work with an expert or not, just like if you do onboard your team correctly, and if people are well trained, if they understand how to use this tool and where it really fits in, the potential in terms of the productivity benefits that can be realized. Now, one of the common mistakes that I see, not just with Asana, but with all sorts of software products, is when the director, the owner, the manager, or whoever's in charge sort of says, right, we're going to use this tool, and they do what I call like a soft launch, and they sort of roll it out to the team, and they just sort of try and figure it out as they go. And there's no real formal guidelines around how we use this tool. They never even sometimes explicitly say, this is how I want you to use it, or you should use this instead of that, or anything like that. And so you get some people using the tool, some people who don't like to change don't use the tool, and so you create actually a divide in the team. And despite Despite the best intentions of the manager, the owner, whoever, soft rolling out a tool to your team can actually hurt more than it can help. So again, whether you work with an expert or not, you actually want to take the time to think about how does this tool, Asana, pipe drive, whatever it is that you're using, how does this tool fit in? With something like Asana, for example, how are we going to communicate? You know, we've got email, we've got maybe Slack or some other chat tool that we use. How do we how do we fit this in? When are we going to use Asana versus these other tools? And you need to think about these things before you take this tool to your team so that you have a very clear idea of how it fits in and you can actually communicate to the team and document down the best practices you want them to follow. You should be thinking about things like how do we want to use due dates? Who is allowed to set up new projects? And the more you can plan and prepare for your rollout, um, the smoother the adoption is going to be. And so, again, going back to this example, if they're well trained, if they understand the expectations, they're going to use it more effectively and it can help to reduce your staff costs. And in a big company, like a big corporation, I think a tool like Asana can be great as well for actually getting everyone onto the same page where you understand your workload, you can be much more efficient as a team, you can actually be happier and enjoy your job more because you know what's expected of you and you've got this great tool that supports your work and you can get things from other people that you need. And so I think in a big company it can even help to lower things like staff turnover, which is massive, a hugely expensive cost. And so yeah, I just wanted to share my experience, this feedback that I've received, I think it's a great example of how a tool like Asana, when it's correctly set up and adopted by your team, just the potential uh, of which it can help you to save money and boost the overall productivity of your team. So if you're new to Asana or you're considering it, uh, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or if you want to reach out to me to get some one-on-one -on -one support with Asana set up and training for your team, then use the link in the description. You can learn more about my services and book a complimentary introductory call. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.